Hey everyone, it's Green Ad Guide. You may have noticed that there are a variety of places you can get your caffeine these days. Obviously, there's caffeine in pills, powders, and potions. That is, caffeine pills like Nodos, powders like pre-workout supplements, and potions like coffee, tea, and energy drinks. But you can also find caffeine added to food, to gum, to candy, and more. So in this episode, we'll compare the pros and cons of each to help you decide which form works best. Ready? Let's go. Welcome to the Caffeine at Midnight podcast, a short, no BS, science-based podcast for people who drink caffeine and work beyond the nine to five. I'm your host, Danielle Robertson-Rath, also known as Green-Eyed Guide. I research caffeine, energy drinks, and fatigue in the workplace. I'm the author of Are You a Monster or a Rockstar? A Guide to Energy Drinks and How to Get Shit Done When You Feel Like Shit. Oh, by the way, uh, I kind of like the S word, sorry. You can learn more about me, what I do, my books, my educational background, all that good stuff at greeneyedguide.com. For now, grab your favorite caffeinated beverage and your favorite note-taking app, and let's do this. Apologies in advance if you heard the sounds of my bulldog or my baby in the background. I don't have a lot of time or a lot of fancy podcast equipment. What I do have is a lot of passion, and the Anchor app allows me to share that passion with you, dear listeners. If you are considering your own podcast, I highly recommend using Anchor. It's completely free. You can record, edit, and publish right from your phone. And Anchor distributes to Spotify, Stitcher, Apple, and all the other podcasts. You can download the free Anchor app or go to anchor.fm to get started. Before we get started, the caffeinated beverage of the day is not a beverage at all. Today, I'm using Elite Ops Energy Strips. They're minty little strips that dissolve on your tongue. I love these things for conferences and days when I have back-to-back-to-back video meetings. Days where I need caffeine, but I don't want anyone to know it. I've gotten really good at peeling open a pouch of Elite Ops Energy Strips under the table and then popping the energy strip on my tongue So I feel alert and no one has to know that I was falling asleep. Each strip has 100 milligrams of caffeine and that's about the amount of one Red Bull or one cup of coffee. It's great. So let's talk about the pros and cons of caffeine strips and chews. The advantage of strips and chews is that these things typically spend more time in your mouth than caffeine pills or caffeine potions, drinks like coffees, teas, and energy drinks. Because they spend more time in your mouth, there's more caffeine absorption through the buccal mucosa, which is a fancy way of saying through your cheeks and under your tongue. This means that caffeine has a head start. Instead of having to wait 15, 30 minutes for the caffeine to go down your esophagus into your stomach where it gets absorbed, Some of that caffeine can get absorbed right into your bloodstream directly from your mouth. That means you feel alert that much faster. According to research by Kami Mari, you can see caffeine show up in your bloodstream in as quick as five minutes when you have caffeinated gum or strips or chews. On the other hand, it takes 35 to 45 minutes for caffeine to show up in your bloodstream when you have caffeine pills. So caffeine in strips and chews and gum is way faster. One disadvantage of caffeinated strips and chews is that you don't have that volumetric portion control that you would with a 16 ounce energy drink or a larger size coffee. With those beverages, because there's more volume to it, because there's more ounces, it's going to take you longer to consume it. And sometimes that means before that last sip, 
you realize that you're awake and alert enough and maybe you don't need to finish the whole thing. Let's talk about caffeinated gum. Caffeinated gum shares some of the advantages of caffeine strips and chews, meaning you get wicked fast absorption because you're having that caffeine absorption through your mouth as opposed to having to wait until it gets all the way through your esophagus into your stomach. However, one big disadvantage with caffeinated gum is that because you're not swallowing it like you would with a caffeinated strip or an energy chew, you may not get 100% of that caffeine dose. A research review by Wickman and Sprite found that when people got a strip of gum with 100 milligrams of caffeine, they really only absorbed 70% of that compared to an energy drink or a strip or a chew or a caffeine pill where you're going to swallow it so you're going to absorb 100% of that dose. So that's one of the disadvantages of gum. Yes, you will get absorption wicked fast. However, you may not get the full dose. Okay, so let's talk about caffeine pills. One big advantage is that they're portable and, hmm, yep, I think that's pretty much it. I think the disadvantage of caffeine pills is, one, you have nothing to taste. It's kind of boring just having a caffeine pill. Uh, two, it takes a long time, like 40 minutes. Three, there's no portion control. So if you've had one too many caffeine pills, there's nothing you can do about it. By the time it kicks in, it's too late. In case you can't tell, I really don't like caffeinated pills. So finally, let's talk about the pros and cons of caffeine in drinks, like coffee and tea and energy drinks. And for now, let's please just ignore that there are differences between caffeine and coffee and tea and energy drinks. I believe I've started to talk about this in other episodes, and trust me, there's plenty more to talk about. But for now, let's just focus on the fact that you're getting caffeine from a liquid. The pros of that are, as I've kind of mentioned before, you have a built-in volumetric portion control. This does not apply to energy shots, which have the same flaws as caffeine pills. Namely, if you've had too much, then it's too late to do anything about it because you've swallowed the whole thing. Not a fan of energy shots. But with drinks, there's a benefit because you can take your time. You can sip the thing slowly and figure out how much you need to feel alert. Sometimes two to four sips will do and you can save the rest of your coffee or the rest of your energy drink for later. And that is my favorite part about drinking coffee or tea or energy drinks. Drinking caffeine. You can moderate your dose by sipping slowly. You can't do that with pills or chews or capsules or gum. A disadvantage, though, of drinking caffeine is that there's more fluid so if you're taking a really long road trip or if you're working in a hospital or working somewhere where you don't really have the luxury of bathroom breaks, then having that larger volume might not be a good idea. There's one more form we should talk about, and that is the pros and cons of having caffeine in food, like caffeine added to chocolates, to potato chips, to perky jerky, etc. The pros of that are some forms of caffeine and things like B vitamins and taurine, other things in energy drinks, can irritate your empty stomach. So if you have caffeine in the form of food, like caffeine in a protein cookie, you probably won't irritate your stomach because you're eating food with it. The disadvantage of that, however, is that it will take a little bit longer than the strips and chews because there's more food. There's more molecules for your stomach to digest. It's not just the caffeine. Also, things like fat molecules can slow the gastric emptying, which is a fancy way of saying how quickly your stomach empties itself. So if you do have caffeine in a chocolate chip cookie, for example, the fat content of that chocolate chip cookie might slow down how quickly that caffeine can go from your stomach into your bloodstream. 
Okay, dear listener, which form of caffeine do you like best? I would love to hear from you. You can send me a message or drop a comment on Instagram, LinkedIn, YouTube, at Green Eyed Guide, or you can get a hold of me via email, info at greeneyedguide.com. Thanks for listening. I hope this was helpful. If you enjoyed today's episode, I would really appreciate it if you shared it with at least one person. Word of mouth works great. You can also take a screenshot or share the link on any social media channel you like best. Just remember to tag me at Green Eyed Guide. You'll also find a lot more information about me, what I do, and some freebies at greeneyedguide.com freebies. Take care. Bye-bye.